Hello, my friends. Welcome once again to Faith Walk 101. We are so glad that you have joined us. Do you need it? Do you need this world? Do you need to conform to this world to experience true joy? Are you being deceived? Do you need all the problems <laughs> that the world has to offer? The enemy has convinced a lot of people they need what the world has to offer to be happy. They've convinced us of that. There are a lot of things that are non-essentials in the body of Christ that we are now trying to say that they're essential for our salvation. We have added a lot of things, and now we're saying that we have to have these things. And the only reason why that's happening is because a lot of people are not engaging in the Word of God. We have a generation that's coming along. Uh, I don't want to say everyone because it's not everyone. But there's a lot of people that are not engaging in the word and they're looking to the world and a lot of non-essentials we're introducing into the body of Christ. We must be careful that we don't try to redefine the essentials to accommodate our emotional desires that this world says that we need to be happy. We need it. No, we don't. We don't need it. There is a spiritual war taking place all around us, my friend. The enemy wants us to abandon the mission. And the mission is to know him, to know him and to make him known. John uh, 17 verse 7 says, Now this is eternal life, that they know you, the only true God and Jesus Christ, whom he, you have sent. Make him known. But first of all, we are to know him. There's two things about the mission. We are the first to get to know him through the word of God and let the spirit of God speak to us. And then we are to make him known. Matthew 28, 19 through 20 says, go and make disciples of all nations. Hey, we've got the, the uh, uh, commission to go. And this, he ends it by teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. This is not a suggestion. It is a command. We are to make him known. We are to know him and to make him known. My friends, you have a calling. And if you're here, and you are, if you're listening to this, then you are here for such a time as this. And God has chosen you uh, to uh, make him known and to know him. My friends, don't abandon the mission. We have to stay focused on the mission. We're going to talk more about the mission and what happens when people abandon the mission. We see all kinds of uh, strife and bickering and complaining and fighting and uh, confusion. It's because we've abandoned the mission. When we are about the mission, uh, knowing him and making him known, Everything will run exactly the way it should. Does that mean that you're going to be absent of trouble? No, because Jesus said in this world you're going to have trouble. But at the same time, it's the peace that passes all understanding because we know him. And that is the command he says, know him and make him known. That's the mission. That's the plan to tell the world about the gospel. My friends, you want this to be a better world? Then make disciples. The more people that become followers of Christ, the better this world is. There's no uh, program in this world that can fix the problems except to know him and to make him known. Continue to join us on Faith Walk 101 as we talk more about the mission of believers, for believers. Thank you.